Tonight is certainly not a night you want to be stuck outside. And tomorrow, when that cold front hits, it's going to be quite, quite dangerous. That's why the Durham Rescue Mission is out trying to get the homeless out of the weather. CBS 17's Crystal Price live in Durham digging deeper into why some are willing to risk it, though, in order to avoid COVID-19. And Crystal, what are they doing to help people not be so frightened of this? Well, many people are scared of getting the virus, but here at the shelter, they're doing everything they can to keep everyone safe. Right now, we're here in the sanctuary. If you'll take a look, you can see they've laid out extra mats. Now, if you'll take a look here, you can see they've placed them in the aisles here as a way to better space people out and keep them social distanced. All right, gentlemen, let's get up around here. With a stormy night and an extremely cold holiday ahead. I'm in that van that's sitting right out front. The Durham Rescue Mission is sending out their crews to the homeless camps in the area. Anybody home? They're giving them flyers about the emergency shelter they're activating tonight. They're rolling out extra mats and prepared to take in between 20 to 35 more individuals as temperatures are expected to plunge into the 20s. It's very dangerous. This is when people lose fingers. This is when people lose their lives. Rob Tart is the chief operating officer at the Durham Rescue Mission. He says many of the homeless are scared to come stay at the shelter due to COVID. The question is what's worse, freezing to death or catching COVID-19? But Tart says they don't have to choose. We believe we can keep people warm and we believe we can keep them safe from COVID-19 at the same time. Duke Health comes out every day to test those just getting to the shelter. The Durham Rescue Mission also supplies masks for everyone and they thoroughly clean the shelter daily. We got hot coffee and Lynn Holloway used to be homeless. On this Christmas Eve, he wants to make sure the homeless have a place to stay that will protect them from the cold and from COVID. I just want to go around, reach out to those that I left out there, left behind, and hope that I can convince them that they can get the same help that I got. And back out here live, some people have already started donating clothes and coats that they'll be able to pick up on their way out. Now, the emergency shelter will be in operation through Sunday morning. Reporting live in Durham, Crystal Price, CBS 17 News. Crystal, thank you.